High betting experts on Thursday the 10th of November off to market raising. Decent eased ground expected, some competitive racing as a result. Sharp right-handed track where the emphasis tends to be on speed when it's not too soft. We start off with our betting expert daily nap in the 1.30. This is the EBF Mayor's National Hunt maiden hurdle. Two mile, four furlongs and 139 yards. A class four for four-year-olds and up to £3,812 to the winner. And a really good opportunity for IRNs of Dan Skelton to get off the mark under rules at the second time of asking. Now, Dan, well, he missed the summer out, which is his new strategy. He wants Saturday horses. He's had nine winners in the last 14 days at a just shy of 15% strike rate. I wouldn't say they were absolutely flying by any means. I think basically they've all been needing a run. So I think IRNs is entitled to strip fitter for her start, first run in 193 days. She was a point winner back in April for Sean Doyle. It was quite strong in the market at Carlisle for a pretty warm race at the start of October and she finished a really good second to Springwell Bay who is very useful ended up in graded races going forwards Iron's pulled clear of the rest she's very much a stayer I'm expecting Harry will be positive here two mile four furlongs that extended trip should suit her there should be loads more improvement to come as she sharpens up fitness wise and with her jumping a betting expert value angle selection runs in the 240 is the come racing this Boxing Day novice handicap chase nearly three miles class four four-year-olds and up at six and a half thousand pounds to the winner an interesting race but i think plan paradise should strip a little bit fitter for his run after three months off at newton abbott last month now he's one from five over fence he was a good winner at worcester over two mile four i don't think he'll have any problem at all with this three mile trip he's another one with a pointing background and he ran a lot better than the bare result on his return from that break at Newton Abbott last month, finishing third behind Potter's Venture, never really landing a blow under a negative ride. I'm not sure they thought he was a guaranteed stayer over three mile two, and he rather lost his place after a slow jump at the third. But Jamie Moore's up again. I think he'd be a lot more positive back at three miles. And incidentally, the form of that run, for what it's worth, Don Alvaro was tailed off at Newton Abbott in fourth, 39 lengths behind Plan Paradise. Well, he's come out since and landed a right touch at Wincanton double figures down to 7-2 to two and winning pulling a bus so that form at least has had a good boost and Plan Paradise is open to a bit more improvement after just five runs over fences. Best of luck on Thursday betting experts. Mm-hmm.